everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have just a little 4x4 four four inch ceramic tile. And I'm going to just do a uh, bloom swipe on this, just to show you how much fun they are. And my base coat today, or my pillow as they call it, is the Pittsburgh Ultra in Interior Satin. And I mixed that with probably about a tablespoon of the uh, GAC 800. Very thick. So let's just lay that down. And I'm actually going to cover the whole tile here. Been watching a lot of videos on these bloom swipes. They look like a lot of fun. And this is an easy way to practice with them because if you really don't like it, you can scrape it, wipe it off. It's just a ceramic tile. And the colors I'm going to use today are uh, the Pebio Lemon Cadmium Yellow Q. And I'm going to use some primary elements. I have the uh, Color Art Primary Elements, and this is the Snapdragon. Very pretty color. And also, again, a primary element, and this is the Teal Zircon. And let's see. Um, this, and I have another primary element. It is the Snapdragon. Very, very pretty, nice dark purple color. You can see it there. And I think that's the colors I'm going to see. Well, I have a red, and I have to apologize. I don't remember what red this is. I do have a feeling it's just an acrylic tube paint. And I will list um, everything that I mixed with these paints. And uh, let's just get started here. And what I'm going to do is just randomly put these colors on my tile. I don't have a whole lot of this uh, teal left, but we'll work with what we got here. Gonna use that up. And let's go with this red. Want it to be a nice bright tile. The GAC 800 in my pillow paint, the white that I laid down first, will help that from cracking because it is quite thick. Okay, and lastly, let's lay down that purple Snapdragon. I really love this color. One of my favorite color art colors. And let me show you that paint. Just how pretty that is. You can see that shine in that. Okay. I'm just going to pop a few bubbles here. Some of the bigger ones. And I went ahead and I made up my cell activator in several different colors in little bottles. Here's an example. And how I mixed it is three parts of the Australian Floetrol to one part paint. So today I think I'm going to be using um, the Prussian Blue on top. And what I'm going to do is just Use a little swipe tool here, just a little uh, plastic divider that I have. And I'm just going to put some of that Prussian blue on the end there. And I'm just going to swipe. Swipe over the tile. 
and I will clean off my little swipe tool in between each each swipe I do here and I'll swipe this way You can see the cells coming up there. And if I, I still have quite a bit left there, so I'm going to just swipe it this way. And again, I have some left, so I will swipe it this way. And this will be my last swipes here. And that's the last one. There we go. Okay, and I think I will do just a real quick torch, even though I used house paint, I'll do it very quick. You have to be careful with the house paint that you don't uh, scorch it. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is just use my skewer and I'm going to wreck it. Just just pull my skewer through there. Okay. Looks pretty good. And now we're going to do the spinning. I'm really liking this so far. And I think what I'm gonna do is just pick it up a little bit if I can. And I'm just gonna Tip it down this way a little bit. I just like to disperse that red just a little more there. And that's good. And I'll spin again. These are a lot of fun. And let's spin it this way. And I really do like that composition. And I think I will get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, here is the tile itself. And this is the upper left-hand corner. I really do like the cells and the lacing I got on this. Just a little four by four ceramic tile here. It almost looks like stained glass and that's kind of the, uh, the effect I was trying to get here. This is just a little upper right hand corner here. Okay, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care everybody.
Bye for now.